Today I'm going to show you how to make a folding camp saw. It looks like this. Very handy, useful piece of equipment and it packs down to something that looks just one sec. This is what the saw looks like in the storage container. It's very light, doesn't take up much space in a pack. All the components are there. You've got the spreader bar, the tensioning rod, and there's a slot cut in the spreader bar to store the tensioning rod. You've got the saw, it unfolds. The spreader bar goes in place. Undo the wing nut on the tension bar, slide it through the holes, put it back together, put tension on it, and then it's uh, all set, ready to go. Here's the hardware that you need to build this saw. Um, I'm basing this on a standard thread size of 6x32 for this particular one, but you can change that depending on what your needs are. I have an acorn cap, a wing nut, and then I have two stow bolts that are 1 quarter by 20 piece of threaded rod long enough to span the entire saw, a saw blade, um, you can usually get this at a hardware store, replacement bow saw blade, uh, they run somewhere between five to ten dollars, a piece of hardwood, this is a piece of oak, got it from a lumber yard, four feet long, two inches wide, one inch thick. Beyond that you need a drill, some drill bits, hammer and chisel, a screw for your stove bolt or a screwdriver for your stove bolts, and then of course you need a table saw. I need to cut a slot in the one piece of wood and make it so that it folds completely. And the first thing I'm going to do is just set the depth of the saw so that I can cut it deep enough that the entire saw blade can rest inside it like that. So I set the depth of my saw on the table saw so that it's just deep enough to cut into the wood to cover the blade of the bow saw. Now I'm going to make the final piece, that's the spreader. I need to cut a slot so that I can put uh, the tensioning bar inside that. And I need to put a little uh, tenon on there which I'll mortise into the rest of the saw later. Okay. So, next thing is to set it up to drill the hole to put the saw in place. It's going to go inside here. That needs to swing around. And when the hole is drilled, I'll take the screw, screw it through there, and then the blade will swing back and forth and it will rest inside uh, the handle of the saw. Okay, I've drilled a pilot hole because sometimes with wood it doesn't drill evenly. That's a snug fit and there's just enough wood there that I can thread it in place and keep the saw uh, from moving around. <clears throat> so I've got the uh, screw started. It's just starting to show up there so I'm going to put that in place. That should be the right spot. and now it's locked in place. I'll just finish by screwing it all the way down and then I'll cut off the excess later. Okay, 
so I've cut it off, but I've made it just a bit longer. So in order to get a nice tight snug fit, I'm going to go back to the table saw and I'm going to cut off that excess wood a little bit at a time until I get a nice flush fit. The next thing I have to do is to cut the slot for the spreader bar. That's going to look like that. I've already marked one out on this side. And uh, the last thing to accomplish is to drill a hole so that the tensioning bar can go through. That's the one with the acorn nut on one side and the wing nut on the other side. And I've marked that out here. So we'll drill the holes. Um, this one I'm going to drill a little bit of this wood out to make it easier to cut it square with a chisel. The tensioning bar is an eighth of an inch in diameter, so I've got a drill that's just slightly oversized to make it easy to slide in and out. That's one done. And two done. I'm going to drill a little bit of this out just to make it easier for when I use the chisel to square it off. And then just neaten things up with the chisel. Finished saw looks like this. When it's folded into its case, it looks like that. In order to assemble it, you just need to unfold it, slide in the tensioning bar on one side, put in the spreader bar, finish sliding in the tensioning bar. And then attach the wing nut. Put the tension on it, and that's it. Make it as tight as you need to. And there's the saw. Measurements for the component pieces are something like this. The saw blade is a standard 21 inch saw blade. The handles wind up being 10 and a half inches long. They're an inch and a half that direction. And they are three quarters of an inch that direction. The spreader bar is 19 inches long and a little shorter for the tenons. The tensioning bar is 22 inches long. That's enough to keep everything together. Bow saw blades have a fairly aggressive set on the teeth. That means when you finish the saw, you have a span of about five and a half inches. And if you flip it over, you've got 11 inches of cut with a little bit of flex. And you can go through a pretty darn big log in fairly short order.